This is an herbal review of the Tibetan Rhodiola from our good friends at the Mad Hat Tea Company in Tacoma, Washington. The roots in particular of this herb, and this is the less common type of Rhodiola, with the most common being Rhodiola rose. Tibetan Rhodiola itself has red flowers, which is where the ceremonial garb of the llamas is allegedly inspired from. This herb is considered an adaptogen, which means it assists in adjusting to climate change as well as nutritional deficiencies. Take, for instance, the lung capacity needed to survive at high altitudes where this plant flourishes. It is also a nootropic, or a smart drug, which enhances cognitive function. Other herbs, such as skyzanjerberry or Mo Atza is a Chinese herb that affects the nervous system and is sometimes used in conjunction with Tibetan rhodiola. This herb correlates to the five humors. You'll hear others refer to it as the five meridians of the central nervous system. It is said to have five flavors, and Skyzandra is the epitome of herbs in Chinese medicine. All plants are said to aspire to be like Skyzandra. It is a leech herb, that is, it affects the lymphatic system. It is closely related to ginseng and goji berry. The smell of Tibetan rhodiola is similar to that of valerian roots, also known as nature's Vicodin. For those unfamiliar, valerian was used by the Pied Piper of Hamlet, a Trobrador figure, and also a likely Cathar who, after not having been paid his dues after ridding the town of a rat infestation, this Pied Piper of Hamlet decided to abduct the town's children in retaliation. The children were never seen again. Some claim the Pied Piper of Hamlet took him to the eastern expanses of Romania, to the abodes of Transylvania, this occurring 200 years before the appearance of Vlad the Impaler. Valerian was also used by Alexander the Great to treat a form of what we would refer to today as PTSD. Tibetan rhodiola smells similar to Valerian with a more leathery overtone. Very leather-like. Overall, I don't think this is an herb you want to drink every day, but maybe save it for special occasions as needed. And that is all for now. Stay tuned for more herbal reviews.